it is because we didn't know that it was there but it was there already it existed so now we can compare so who discovered America does anyone else so the history says Cristóbal Colombo Brazil oh Christopher Columbus so Brazil it was Alvarez Cabral so I'll ask the brothers did America already existed yes or no America already existed but it was covered for it was covered for the most part of the people on that time but it already existed so Columbus what what does he do he comes here and he discovered that this land already existed so what happens um, it's shown to Columbus that it that already existed a new a new place and Jesus was saying the same thing that the heavens already existed but for many it's still hidden but already, but already exists and just like we read the first verses the first verses in the Bible Jesus says Jesus created the the heavens and the earth so he already created two things the heavens and the earth just like Columbus at his time he didn't know that it existed but he went there and it was discovered for many that didn't know that already existed and Jesus says that man he finds hidden in a field a treasure and now we can say oh how, how am I gonna find in a field in a wide field a treasure <coughs> if I go out there and make I'll probably make many holes and I'll never find a treasure but for you to find a hidden treasure in a field only God just by the revelation of the Holy Spirit and when we look at the word of the Lord we see that Jesus does that we see that Jesus Review his plan to a man, and now we we can see that he shows something that no one found it, no one found to a man. Just like he says, I'll say and I'll prepare everything and I'll give to the right man for those who I love. So, the verse says, the heavens is just like a treasure hidden in a field and the verse of Bible Peter says you are Christ and Jesus says Peter you're holy because it wasn't just you but the God the Father was the one that revealed John the Baptist says is here is here the one that takes the sin out of the earth and John when he was the disciple of John he actually stopped being the disciple of John and began to be disciple of Jesus and Jesus was revealed to them and a man that found a treasure hidden in the field the field is, is a piece of land and a man that found this treasure he is known for Martin Lutero everyone knows Martin Lutero he, he used to know the Bible because he had the Bible in his hand 
he was translating the Bible from Latin to German. And then when he starts to read the Bible in the field, because it was from his interests to know the Bible, and he was religious, and he used to work with the word of the Lord. And then when he was reading, he found out that in that field, in the religious field, he found this mystery that was the treasure that was sitting there, that was the Bible. And the word says, my brothers, that amen, only one found the treasure. And we sing a song that said, oh, I, I had a treasure, I have... I have a treasure. I have a treasure inside of me. That is more important than everything that I have. And the tre and the treasure is what is Jesus. So the word says that when he found this treasure, he hid this treasure. And by the happiness that he, he had at the time, he goes, he sells everything he has, and he goes and buys the fields. But then you can ask yourself, wouldn't it be easier for you, like, oh, if I'm in the field, and I'm in the field, and I found this treasure, what is easier? I could just get this treasure and keep it for myself and go home. Right? But this treasure, it cannot be, it cannot be like that. So the word says, it was revealed to him that the treasure was that. So he went there, he found out, he found this, this great thing, and he understood that for him to actually get the treasure, he will have to buy. He will have to buy it. But before, before him, before buy all that, he will have to sell everything he had. So what does that mean? So first he hints why does he does that? Because it was a treasure. It had a value. Because if he haven't done that, someone could just go there and get it from him. Because it had a really great value at that time. So he hits that. And by the happiness, and do you know what is salvation? Salvation is to feel a great happiness. So when he discover this treasure that is the our Savior Lord, he actually felt this great happiness. It was the happiness of salvation that many hadn't found yet. That for many it wasn't revealed, but at that day it was revealed to that man. It was a demonstration. It was a demonstration of great love. And the word says that he hid that. And he goes and sell everything he has. My brothers, sometimes we have many things that we think that is that has some value. And we don't want to throw away or get rid of it. But the, the Lord says the heaven is just like a man that sells everything just to be on that field. So Jesus says, if you deny me, I'll deny yourself. And that man, he wanted to be with God. And God says, all right, sell everything. And sometimes man... He's not, he's not open to 
to sell everything. He's not open to make a choice, but to get this field with this treasure. It was necessary for him to make a choice. The choice was to sell everything. Everything that I think that has a value, everything that I think that is important, it needs to be taken away. And the Lord does that. And the man understands this project of the Lord for our lives. So he goes and he sells everything. Just because of this treasure that he found. Martin Luther, he did that. And Jesus says, So that one person that leaves everything, father, brother, dad, will you actually receive a hundred times more in this life and will actually receive ten times more in the heavens. So, it's it is like a reward. So, for you to have a wife, it is something really, really rare to find a really good wife because it has a really, a really great value. But a wife is not a treasure. A dad has a really special meaning. The mother has a really special meaning. Just like the things in, a, in this life, the cars, the houses, that has a value. But it is not. But it's not the great treasure. So Jesus talks about this in this parable. And we think, my brother. But why would that man sell everything to buy that field? But why do I have to give everything away? Why would someone get rid of everything that they have to actually get something else? Just to have something else. And everyone knows it is because this other thing have more value than everything that he has. So the man found out that that treasure that he found, it had more value than everything that he had on those days. And the salvation is the, it is the greatest value. The salvation of our souls has no price. That's why the man that's why the man didn't buy the treasure. He didn't buy the treasure. He bought the field. Because you cannot buy a treasure. A treasure is too expensive. The price is too high. And the Bible says that if the man gets all things that they have, they could go and try to buy and they will not buy that treasure. But they can buy they can buy the they can buy the field. Just us. We can buy we can buy the Bible. The Bible is the field. But we cannot buy the treasure that is in the Bible. But when you actually get everything that is in the project of the Lord and you give everything away for your salvation give you uh, Jesus will actually give you a reward for all that and that was what happened to that man in the past and that's what Jesus wants to do with me and you tonight so we could give everything away just for us to have salvation sometimes the man keeps thinking about that Sometimes man, he doesn't want to give away because man only wants goods, many things, everything is alright. 
There's nothing bad. I didn't have enough family, a place to live, a car to ride. There's no problem. There's no such problem on that. But our greatest thing, it is this treasure. Through all things and the treasure, we have to actually pick the treasure for our salvation, for our salvation. And that was what the man did. That was what Jesus did. Have you thought about that? Inside of our lives, inside of our bodies, there is a particle. Just like all things was created by the word of the Lord, but we were created different. There is the digital of Jesus in every single one of us, in our souls. That's why the Bible says, your, soul, your, your souls have to seek for the Lord. And Jesus paid a really, a really big price for that. Jesus, he left to heaven, the eternities. He left everything. He left all the angels. He left everything. He left his glory. Do you know why? So he could come here and have your soul. This doesn't have a price. Jesus. He let others beat him. He let be humiliated. He let, he let people put a crown on his head, a cross on his shoulders. He left his life over there just for you, just so he could have your soul, so he could give you this present that is hidden in your life inside of your heart because he loves you maybe maybe you go somewhere and the people doesn't see the hidden the hidden treasure that is inside of you but Jesus see that because it is it is his that's why he left in there
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To give you this treasure, to buy your soul, Jesus he did all those things. And sometimes people, they're stuck on little things, things that doesn't matter. And sometimes they don't want to sell those things. They don't want to get rid of it. But Jesus, he left everything to have your soul, to have your life, to give you a place in eternity in the heavens. And the interesting part, my brothers, it is that one man, only one man, called Jesus, he didn't buy part of the field. He haven't bought the field. Jesus, he haven't bought a part of your life. He bought your whole life. He died with you, just like you are, just like I am. with sins and all things that we have so we could have something good inside of us we are we're, we're bad you know one day a man came to the Lord and said good master and he said good is God God is the one, God is Jesus that led himself to be sacrificed and pour his blood to forgive our sins. That's what he did to your life. He bought you just like you are. Just come the way that you are. With all problems, all difficult, difficult things. But why? Because of this treasure that is inside of you. And the desire of that treasure, it is to return to Lord, to Jesus. But we need to make that choice. We need to let these things in the world so we can achieve the salvation of Christ and do it with happiness. So go sell everything that you have and buy that field. Just because of that treasure that has on it. So the desire of the Lord is for you to to buy this field. So, so you can have this project that the Lord has for you. The Lord Jesus Christ. Because you, you're in this field right now. Because the field represents this church. And many people pass by and they doesn't know that inside of here there's a really great treasure it is in the word of the Lord that is the salvation of Jesus in Jesus so uh, Jesus showed that there was a woman she was feeling she was feeling this pain in her chest and Jesus shown that this problem isn't physical it is spiritual it is your soul and the only thing that cures the soul is Jesus my soul seeks Jesus so when you present yourself to Jesus your soul is here your soul is clear and Jesus is doing this today he's curing giving cure for your life your soul is curing your heart and Jesus showing a man that he's with us tonight and this man can see that and, and he could see the the hearts of everyone and he saw that the heart was healthy and when he saw that the, the hearts were healthy he started crying and saying to the Lord that he wanted a heart just like that so in the end of the service his heart was just like the others 
So what does the Lord wants to show with that? The heart, sh the heart um, represents the feelings, the love. It, is, it wants to show gratitude. So this brother wants to feel the same gratitude, the same love. He wants to make the same choice. He wants to do the same thing, to get rid of everything and have a place in eternity. And the Lord showed that the Lord is considering this blessing to this brother today. Amen. So let's stand up at this time.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Lord. Holy, holy, holy be your name. Hallelujah. 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 We glorify the Lord and we thank you for your holy name, for the kindness, for everything that you have done in our lives. We thank you, Lord, because you have sent your, your only Son to give us this blessing that is our salvation, to give us the right to be here and go to eternity. We thank you and we plead and we glorify your name for the high value that our lives have. We thank you for everything. Bless everyone that's here tonight. Bless this week, this following week. Give us the happiness. And we thank you because we know that we're gonna we're gonna still in your presence. We thank you for everything in the name of Jesus. I always say that the the word and the sweet and the sweet consolation of the Holy Spirit might be on top of everyone in the name of Jesus, Amen. The Browns baby city. If you my brother if you at the time you need a prayer for your life, if you need the understanding of the gifts just, just raise your hand so we can go and pray for you and give you the assist, assistance. And we thank for your your visit here tonight, for being participating. And you're invited to, to come back. And on Thursdays we have a, a service that is about doctrine. On Wednesdays, um, Wednesdays at 8 is the service for the women's. Thursdays at 8 is the service of prayers. Saturday, it is 7.30, a service just like this. Sunday morning, uh, Sunday morning at 10.30. We have the service you Sunday 6:15 service with the youths 7:30 service here. here. Just raise your hand and we're gonna go into you and pray. We say to everyone, peace the Lord. Stop streaming. Alright.